Greetings and praise the Lord, everybody. Happy Friday evening. So grateful that you have joined us this evening. I'm Pastor Carla Randall, pastor of Saturation Ministries Global here in Houston, Texas. And I welcome you tonight to the Gathering the Seekers Prayer from the Threshing Floor. I am so excited about what God is going to do. Uh, we are broadcasting live for the next 12 hours straight. Uh, we are answering a call and a command uh, from God to uh, pray. Uh, I, I hope you understand and you know, and you can testify with me that we are in a season and a time where prayer is critical and prayer is vital. So I'm grateful that we are able to join together tonight and we're able to broadcast this live. We have people who are joining us from all over the country who are going to pray with us tonight because we know that God is not only a God that hears our prayers, but he is a God that answers. And there is an urgency right now in the land. There is an urgency for us to pray and God has directed us to gather the seekers. God has uh, directed us to touch and agree with those who are of like faith, those who believe in the power of prayer, those who know that God hears and answers, those who know that there is a necessity to grab the horns of the altar and to cry unto God. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And again, we're so glad that you joined us. I want to ask that you would share this broadcast because we want to saturate the airways. And right before we get started in prayer, I just want to, to set the tone for this evening and just share with you what the Lord was speaking into my spirit as he has called us to have this 12 hour virtual prayer. So in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24, the Bible speaks of a pestilence that God sent to the land as a result of his anger with the people of Israel and the offense of David the king. And the Bible says that as a result of this pestilence, over 70,000 men were killed. And of course, David repented. And then the prophet Gad tells David to get to the threshing floor and to build an altar. Get to the threshing floor of Arana and there build an altar. So David does as the prophet instructs him to do. Uh, and David builds an altar on the threshing floor. And David offers burnt offerings and peace offerings. And what I love about this sacrifice is that the Bible says in verse 25, so the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed. The Lord told the death angel, it is enough. Stay now thy hand. And so David's sacrifice was accepted and the Lord was satisfied with what he offered. Ah, and I just believe tonight that as we are on the threshing floor, because I believe God has called this country to the threshing floor. I believe that this, that this threshing floor, which is a place of separation, a place of instruction, a place of intercession, that tonight, because we're building an altar on the threshing floor, that God is going to hear us and we trust and believe that our sacrifice of prayer, our sacrifice of intercession, our sacrifice of repentance, our sacrifice of worship will satisfy God. And he will declare, it is enough, stay thy hand. So we trust and believe that God is going to move miraculously because of our prayer tonight. Uh, I, I feel it all in my spirit. I've been excited all day in expectation and in anticipation of what God's going to do. Um, I believe that the, the prayer that we pray tonight has the power to change the trajectory of our country, of our cities, of our communities, of our families, of our churches. And so we're going to join in prayer. We're going to join in prayer. And I'm so excited uh, that we have some prayer generals that are going to be on the call and on the line tonight. I'm so grateful um, that as I extended invitation, as I was led by the Lord, that they responded with, yes, we, we wanna be a part of this. And I'm so grateful that they are going to pray with us tonight. 
for these 12 hours, for these 12 hours, and we're going to make a united stand against the advancement of every agenda of the enemy. Every agenda that's not in alignment with the will of God, we're going to make a stance and a stand against that tonight. So for the next 12 hours, we want you to join us in prayer. Uh, the Bible says that uh, the fervent prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. And so we are extending this going live because we want you to join us in prayer tonight. Uh, the Bible says one could put a thousand to flight, but two ten thousand. Uh, so if you would join in with us, we're going to put some de demons to flight tonight. Hallelujah. And so we bless God. So we want you to stay with us. I know it's 12 hours. So if you have to take a break, uh, even if you have to take a nap, whatever you have to do, please pray with us tonight and share this on your Facebook page so that we can saturate cyberspace. Uh, the Bible says that Satan is the prince of the power of the air. But tonight, for these next 12 hours, we are invading his territory and we're taking over territories. So please, please, I admonish you and encourage you to join us and to share this broadcast. Again, we are claiming territories. We are pulling down strongholds. We are interrupting the communication of demonic forces, and we are coming against spiritual principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, I believe, I believe that our prayers make a difference. And I believe that, that uh, with our prayers, we're giving God the permission to come into our circumstances, to come into the earth realm and do what he does. Uh, and so I, I just trust that you will join us tonight, join us tonight, and that you understand the criticality of our prayer, the criticality of our worship, the criticality of our intercession, that tonight, tonight we're going before God. Ah, and, and we're going before God because we are persuaded that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think, hallelujah. And so our prayer generals are ready. We have been fasting, we have been consecrating uh, because we are anticipating God to do a great move in the earth realm. Whatever your city is, I want you to type the name of your city, wherever you're watching us from, type the name of your city into the comments. And while we're praying, if there is a special prayer request that you have, please type it into the comments. I promise we're going to pray over your prayer request. We believe that God is going to answer. Yeah, we believe that in this, these uncertain times that we serve a God who is certain, a God who is consistent, a God who is faithful, a God who is able. And so we're going to pray and believe, and we're going to believe, and we're going to have expectation that as we're praying, God is doing a miraculous work on our behalf. So again, our prayer generals are ready and they're standing by. And so I want to give a special thank you to all of our prayer generals tonight. Each prayer general will have a 30-minute prayer segment to pray, to prophesy, to worship however the Lord leads them tonight. So, so listen, I want you to get comfortable. I, I want you to get into your prayer posture. Some of you might be walking around the house while you're praying, whatever you have to do, but we are offering up sacrifices tonight. And we are on the altar of the threshing floor. And we are trusting that our prayers are going to so please God that he is gonna move on our behalf. I wanna send another special uh, thank you to the overseers of Saturation Ministries Global, Bishop C. Sean Tyson and Pastor Krista Tyson. We thank God that they're gonna be on the line tonight. Bishop Tyson's gonna close us out uh, in, the, in the morning. Hey, so he's gonna close this prayer out. And so we're grateful for them and for their support. And we're grateful for their covering and for their prayers. Uh, so, so it's time to pray. And again, I'm so glad that you have joined us uh, every prayer general will have their 30 minutes. Um, and so it's going to be a continual prayer, a continual prayer, time of prayer, time of worship, time of warfare, time of intercession. We believe God over everything. Ah, and so I trust and believe that you will join with me tonight. And together we're going to make a difference in the earth realm. 
I, I believe that as we pray that the numbers of those um, that, are, that are with the COVID, that have the COVID-19 virus, I believe that the numbers will come down. I, I just believe that we can push back racism, uh, the blatancy of racism. I believe it. I believe. I believe that God's going to answer our prayers. So I want you to join me tonight. And if you are like me, you trust that God is with us. Yeah, he is yet in control in spite of what we see. Hallelujah. And so we're going to pray. So I'm going to start us off and then we're going to go into the prayer with our prayer generals coming on the line. Please, please share this broadcast. Let's saturate the atmosphere. Let's saturate homes with prayer unto God, unto God. So join me now as we start off the prayer and you will hear of various of pastors and leaders and intercessors who are going to come on the line and we're going to again uh, grab the horns of the altar and cry out to our God because he is able. Join with me now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the privilege to come before your presence. And we come with the fruit of our lips giving you praise. We come, Lord God, recognizing you and honoring you and acknowledging you as our God. We thank you in the name of Jesus for the privilege of access. Hey, we thank you that we have the privilege to call upon your name. We thank you that, God, you have given us the privilege of having relationship with you. We don't take that for granted, God, but we are so grateful. We are so grateful. And tonight we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Ah, we bless your name, God. You alone are worthy and we reverence you, Father. We extol you. We lift you up. We give you the glory. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. We bless you tonight, God. You are our refuge and strength. You are our keeper, Lord God. You are our covering. And for this, we say thank you. God, you are our shield and our buckler. Uh, you are our very present help, even in the time of trouble. God, we thank you and we praise you. We lift you up, Lord God, and we adore you. Yeah, you are wonderful, God. There is nobody like you. There is none that can compare to you, none that can rival you. You are God and you are God alone. Yeah, you sit up high, but you look down low, Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus for your goodness and for your kindness. We thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you that goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives lives. And, and so, Father, we thank you that you have called this virtual prayer, 12 hours of prayer, consistent prayer, God. We thank you, Jesus, for those who are joining this call who believe in the power of prayer. We thank you because we know that you are a God that hears us and you are a God that answers. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, before we ask anything else, Father, we ask that you will first forgive us. We repent of anything and everything that we have done that may have offended you in the name of Jesus. We pray that, Father, you will forgive us. We confess, Lord God, and you are the faithful and just God who will forgive us if we confess. And so I thank you tonight for your forgiveness. And because of your forgiveness, Father, we are now entering in. Hallelujah. And we bless you, Lord God. We are entering in believing by faith that, God, as we come before you collectively, in the name of Jesus, that your God, you're going to meet us, that God, you're going to even supersede, exceed our expectation, because you are the God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And, and so, Father, we thank you for the privilege of joining together tonight with intercessors everywhere. Uh, we pray that in the name of Jesus, this broadcast would go viral, that God, it would touch uh, the four corners of the earth. In the name of Jesus, that Father, you will breathe upon us tonight, even as we're praying. 
and that the Holy Ghost would move in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because we believe that you will intercept, you will intercede on our behalf. We thank you, Lord God, because we believe that we will have the testimony of David, that God, as we offer up sacrifices, uh, sacrifices of prayer, sacrifices of prayer, praise and of worship, that, that our sacrifices will please you so much that God, you will move miraculously, that you will remove the pestilence and the plague, that you would stay the hand of the death angel. Hey, God, we believe, we believe, uh, we believe, Lord God, because you said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, would seek your face and pray that God, you would hear from heaven, you would heal our land, God. And so we're calling upon you tonight, Jesus. We touch and agree, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would move miraculously on behalf of the nations. We are in the season, God, where the nations have been shaken. Uh, oh, God, you are shaking everything uh, in this season and in this time. Uh, but we thank you that, Father, we are standing on a sure foundation. Hey, we thank you that we are anchored in God. And so we will not, we will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Uh, you said that men should always pray and faint not. Uh, so Father, in the name of Jesus, we will not faint. Hey, even in the midst of the pandemic, we will not thank God. Uh, even in the midst, Lord God, of systemic racism that's going on and seemingly prevailing in this country, we will not thank God. Mm. In the midst of crisis and calamity, yeah, in the midst of sickness and even in death, God, we will not faint. Uh, we're going to stay on the wall, God. Uh, we're going to trust you and believe you. Uh, we're going to believe God over everything. Yeah, We believe God over the reports that we're hearing. We believe God over what the experts are saying. God, we believe God. We believe you, sir. We, we believe you, sir, that you are our very present and help that God, you are the answer. You are the panacea, God. You are the one. You are the one in the name of Jesus. And, and so, Father, as we come tonight and as the prayer generals come tonight, we pray that you would honor us with your divine presence. We will have access into the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. We're coming, Lord God, to disrupt the agenda of the enemy. Yeah. And we believe by faith, God, that as we pray in the authority of your name, uh, your name that is above every name, hey, your name that causes demons to back up and to tremble, uh, that God, as we pray in the name of Jesus, uh, that God, you're going to do a miraculous work, uh, that you're going to change the trajectory of this country, and you're going to change the trajectory of our families. Uh, God, our situations and our circumstances are going to turn in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, because we're praying in the authority authority of your name and in the power of your spirit, God. And so we trust and believe that as we are praying on this line tonight, hey, that God, you will minister in homes, that you will bring homes back together again. You will bring families back together again. Now, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would move in churches, that God, as we re-enter, that we would let you back into the church, God. And that you would be the head in the name of Jesus. We're praying, Lord God, for government that God you would remove that you would remove those who are standing in the way of your agenda, and that you will put up those who will surrender to your will and to your way. In the name of Jesus, Father, we're praying and we're believing, and we are praying with anticipation and with expectation. We trust you got to move. Uh, we trust you got to turn it. Uh, we trust you got to deliver. Hey, we trust you got to set free. Uh, we trust you in the name, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, the mighty name of Jesus, uh, the excellent name of Jesus, uh, the miraculous name of Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus. We put your name in the atmosphere, God. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And we trust and believe you, sir. We trust and believe you. We trust and believe you. Uh, uh, God, we're not praying amiss. Uh, we're not asking amiss, God. We are full of faith. Uh, hallelujah. And we declare tonight, Jesus, as Micah did, uh, that we are full of power. Hey. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm, we make intercession, God. We are pleading the blood. We're pleading the blood, God, over this country. We are pleading the blood over nations. We are pleading the blood over our families. We are pleading the blood over our churches, the economic systems, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood. We plead the blood, God, that your will would be accomplished in the earth realm. Father, we invite invite you. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we invite you in, sir. Uh, we need you, God. Uh, we're in the time where we need a savior. Uh, and we know that you are Yeshua. You are the Messiah. You are our savior. You are Jesus. You are Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, and so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you're doing in the midst of us. We give you praise in advance. Uh, we give you praise in advance for what we're going to see, Lord, uh, that what's happening in the heavenlies, in the spirit realm, uh, is going to manifest in the earth realm. Uh, and so we believe, God, we believe you. Uh, we touch and agree in the spirit, Father. We touch and agree. Uh, and we believe, God, that you're doing it right now. Uh, we may not see it just yet, but God ah, is happening in the spirit realm and there is going to be the manifestation of what you're doing father and we're coming forth tonight Lord the sons of God are coming forth the whole world is groaning and waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God and so here we are father yeah. Here we are on the altar of the threshing floor, uh, offering up sacrifices, burnt offerings, and peace offerings, God, uh, that we would entreat the Lord, uh, that we would satisfy you, God, uh, that you would be pleased, that you would be pleased, that you would be pleased. Uh, and so, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, God, uh, we reverence you even now. We reverence you even now, God. Uh, we reverence you, Father. And I pray in Jesus' name, that you would hover over us in the name of Jesus, even Lord God, on this line, on this broadcast, that Father, there would be no interruption. We bind the enemy in the name of Jesus that would try to shut this broadcast down. Now, uh, we're going forth in the power of your might, Father. So we bind Satan. We bind the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree uh, that this broadcast is going forth with power. In the name of Jesus, it will not be interrupted in any way. Yeah. Oh, God, that you would get the glory in the name of Jesus. Honor those who are praying with us, God. Uh, those who are touching and agreeing with us, I pray that you will bless them even right now, right? Right now in their homes. In the name of Jesus, you know what they stand in need of, God. And you promised that you would supply our every need, not according to our riches but according to your riches, God. And you are a promise keeper. And so we bless you. We bless you and we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory. Ah, hallelujah. Can you just shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Ah, can you put your hands together and give God a great praise? Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to keep Keep myself together uh, in the name of Jesus. We're going to seal this prayer in Jesus' name and declare that it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. So, so now listen, I'm going to try to keep myself together as everyone, as the prayer generals are coming in and as they are praying. Listen, I believe God. I, I, I know in my spirit that he is going to do and is doing something miraculous. I, I believe in my spirit that revival is not coming. The revival is already here. I, I just believe it in my spirit. And so, and so I'm going to try to keep myself together. I'm all stirred up, y'all. I hope you're stirred up too. Hey, there's nothing wrong with giving God a shout and a 
praise and a dance right in your living room. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we're going to give God praise. And I am going to uh, just transition now and we're going to have um, our next prayer general, um, Pastor Eric Hoskin, come on, uh, a great man of God from here in Houston, Texas. So grateful that he has linked up with us and has joined us. So now remember, 12 hours straight. Keep the broadcast going. Please share it with family and friends because we are saturating the atmosphere tonight. We are saturating the homes of people and we are tearing down territories of the enemy. <laughs> I believe God, y'all. I trust that you believe in with me. We're going to do some work tonight. We're going into some warfare tonight and we believe that we are pulling the enemy's kingdom down. Yeah. we're declaring let God arise and his enemies be scattered so so I'm going to transition and I'm trusting that you are going to continue to share uh, the broadcast please please pray with us pray with us continue with us so I am bringing on now Pastor Eric Hoskin he is going to go before the throne of grace God bless you as you continue in this prayer from the threshing floor Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Pastor Hoskin. Amen, amen. Call is in your hands now, sir. Amen. God bless you. Mighty, mighty woman of God, you have the atmosphere. Uh, and so I'm grateful and honored uh, for the opportunity that you would even think to have me share uh, in today. Um, as you've already mentioned, that uh, the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. We know another translation says that, uh, that effective and powerful. Of what happened with Pastor Hoskin? We're going to try to get him back on the call. Hallelujah. We are trusting and believing. And this is why we are praying against the enemy that wants to stop this call. I just believe it, uh, that he doesn't want this to go forth. But how many of you will believe with me that we are going for? Listen, listen, we will not faint. We will not faint. And so we're going to trust he's coming back in. He's coming back in now. Uh, am I there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Not, you're not giving any room for the enemy in the name of Jesus. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, sir. Let me make certain I'm gonna log in twice so I can make sure that you hear me. <laughs> Father God, we thank you right now. And God, we know right now in the name of Jesus that somebody needs to hear this prayer on tonight. That somebody, oh Heavenly Father, who have carved out time in their, in their schedule, God, needs to hear what you have to say on tonight. And so God, I come right now thanking you for the awesome privilege, God, by the vehicle of prayer to commune with you once again. God, we know right now, according to your word in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, 
that you said according to your word. And when you pray, you go into the closet, which lets us know, God, that you are setting up a divine encounter, a one-on-one -on -one encounter with us tonight. That you said, God, when we when we go into our when we go into our our closet, close the door behind us, shut the door behind us. And God, I speak in the name of Jesus that on tonight, that each and every one of us, God, by faith are getting ready to have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with God on tonight. And so we bind any tactic of the enemy, God, who's trying his best to sabotage. But God, we know right now that, that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And so God, as we enter into our secret place, God, you said, God, when we walk into our closet to shut the door behind us and in that secret place, God, you said that you're going to meet us there. And so God, in the name of Jesus, as we're entering into that secret place tonight, well, this is not a time, God, to touch our neighbor. This is not a time, God, to worry about who's watching and who's not watching. God, this is an encounter with you and I tonight. This is an encounter, God with each and every person, God, who's watching tonight, God. And I feel it in my spirit, oh, Heavenly Father, God, with hands lifted in the name of Jesus, that, God, you're getting ready to shift in the atmosphere, God. I, I feel, God, that you are calling us, oh, Heavenly Father, God, to build altars right now in the name of Jesus. Because even in that passage that Pastor Carla referred to where David built an altar, God, was a sign of meeting God and meeting the presence of God. That every time, God, you meet us, we're going to build an altar, God. And though, God, even though we may be in a different dispensation than what David was in, God, we know, God, that, you, that you've shown up in our lives, God. And so we, we have altars all over our house, God. Every time you speak to us, every time you move, every time, God, you meet our needs, God, we build an altar. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, God, for saturating, God, us with your spirit, with your anointing. Thank you for filling us, God, with your Holy Spirit, your paracletos, God. We know we have one who walks with us, God, who God guides us and talks to us, God. We thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing, God. We thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy, God. God, oh God, we bless your holy name. We praise your holy name. God, you are amazing. You are powerful, God. And so, God, before we come bombarding heaven, God, with our laundry list of requests, God, we stop and acknowledge, God, who you are to us, God. We come confessing our sins to you, God. We come magnifying you, God. Simply saying, we are making you bigger than our situation, God. We are making you, God, bigger than our circumstances. We come before you letting you know, God, we're giddy about you. We're in love with you. We can't live without you. We need you. We thank you, God, for being our God, that there is no one beside you. There's no one above you. But we thank God that you sit high, but you look low. We thank God, God, that you've always been there closer than a brother, that you never leave us nor forsake us, that, God, we can declare according to Psalms 23, that, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that we'll fear no evil, for you're going to always be with us. We bless your holy name, God. I feel your spirit moving. I feel your power. I will move it. Thank you for the opportunity, God, and the discernment of Pastor Carla and Saturation Ministry Global, God, for hosting such an amazing and powerful prayer time of 12 hours of prayer, God, because you said, according to your words, that men ought to always pray, women ought to always pray, God. And so we're praying, we're come submitting ourselves and surrendering ourselves to you, God, saying yes to your will and yes to your way. We thank you, God. So cleanse us of all unrighteousness. God, we want to be found holy and righteous in your presence. We thank you, God, for cleansing us, God, because can't nobody else, God, do us like you do us. Can't nobody else, God, take somebody who is filthy and raggedy as we are, God, and dip us and crimps in blood, God. And when you bring us up, God, God, we'll wipe it. So thank you, God, for wiping away our sins. I'm reminded of the song, what can wash away my sins, God? We know it's nothing but 
the blood of Jesus. And so we bless you for, for the blood. We thank you, God, for what your son did on Calvary's cross over 2,000 years ago, making propitiations of our sins, being the substitutionary atonement, taking what we couldn't handle, God, because we were guilty as charged with taking it, God, and redeeming us and buying us back. And because of that, we give you glory, God, not anything that we did that we can boast about. That's why we give God glory for your grace. That's why we thank you for your mercy, because we know it's undeserved. We know we can't buy it. We know we can't work for it. But God, you've been faithful, God. And you, we just ask you keep doing what you've been doing. Keep us when we can't keep ourselves. Bless us, God, when we don't need, feel, or even deserve to be blessed. Thank you, God, for allowing the deaf angels to fly over our houses. Thank you, God, for watching over our children and blessing our kids. Thank you, God, for restoration. I feel it in the name of Jesus. God, I lift up right now in the name of Jesus, every family. God, in the name of Jesus that's watching and that's going to watch this broadcast, God, I pray your blessings upon them, God. I pray healing in the land restoration, forgiveness, God. God, I pray right now, and according to your word, what you bring together, let no man take a son. We thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you turn parents back to their children, children back to their parents, God. We pray right now, Heavenly Father, God, for the prosperity in the land. We pray right now, Heavenly Father, that your glory, God, be manifested through families, God, and the respect for families, God, for first law of men. God, we thank you, God, for families. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God. We praise you. We love you, God. God, we just are so giddy and in love with you, God. God, if we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to tell on the mountaintops of how much we are in love with you. Not only do we want you to bless families, God, God, but we need you to bless our finances, God. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, as we submit and surrender, God, our ways and finances to you, God, giving you you all of the glory and honoring you, oh Heavenly Father God, with our first. We pray, God, that you bless our finances, God. I pray right now for supernatural provisions. I pray right now, God, even those who are experiencing hardship through this pandemic COVID-19 season, God, I pray right now, God, that there'll be no lack. I pray right now that you meet every need according to your riches and glory. I pray right now for supernatural drop checks. I pray right now, God, for unexpected blessings and phone calls and text messages and cap shops, God, to meet the needs of those who are in need. I pray right now and speak it, God, by faith into existence with somebody's faith who's connected to mine, God. God, that they shall be blessed coming and they shall be blessed in their going, God. God, bless them and keep them on their jobs, God. God, I pray right now for accelerated promotion. I pray right now, God, for instant promotion in the name of Jesus, for every hand lifted who has the faith to believe it, even in a season, God, where they're thinking that you should not get promoted and cannot be promoted. You are the God of everything, God, that you can bless even in the midst of a pandemic. So God, I pray right now, God, for promotion in the land. Not only do I pray, God, for family, not only do I pray, God, for, for, for finances, I pray right now, God, for our faith, God. I pray right now, God, that you strengthen our faith, God, with all that we're dealing, not only with COVID, but with corruption and chaos, God. God, it's easy to ask the question, where are you, God? But God, we know where you are. You are God who sit high and you look low, God. We know that you are a God, according to James 5 and 11, God, that you are full of compassion and mercy, God. So God, right now, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms 88, God, and 89, God. You are faithful, God. And God, I pray right now that vengeance is yours, God, that God, you handle the situation, God. You know what's going on, God, with the African-American race. You know what's going on with the black male. You know what's going on in the name of Jesus, God. So my prayer, God, is you don't allow our spirits and our heart, God, to be uh, infect, infect, infected with the hate of them, God. But help us, God, to walk strong and realize that the battle is not ours, but it is yours. And give us the wisdom and discernment, God, to put 
great action plans in place, God, so that we can protest properly, God, according to your will and your glory. Help us to be able to teach our young men how to stay alive the best that they can. Help us, God, to do what you called us to do, God. But we know and help us to declare that enough is enough, God. So we pray for your strength. We pray for your covering, God. We lift up uh, Minnesota to you, God. We lift up the floor of family, God. We lift up every person who has had to experience, God, racism to that magnitude, God, and the loss, oh, Heavenly Father, and the void of left for the families, God. We pray right now, God, we need healing in the land, God, and I pray right now, God, for supernatural healing in the land. I pray right now for that person, God, who's dealing with the spirit that they can't forgive in the name of Jesus, God. Help that person who's listening, who's watching to realize, God, that forgiving whoever it is that they need to forgive is not for them, God, but it's so that they can have their power back themselves, God. God, do it right now. Give them the strength to forgive so that they can live life and live it to the full. We bless your holy name. We bind every tactic of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus and cast it back to the very pit of hell from whence it came. We thank you, God. We lift up every church represented. We lift up every pastor that's represented, every, uh, a leader that's represented, every prayer warrior, God, every interceder, God, that's watching in the name of Jesus, God. And we pray faith to faith, glory to glory. We thank you. We love you. We bless your holy name, God. God, we give you all of the praise. We declare, God, over all of our lives, God, God, that we are healed in the name of Jesus, God. And we plead the blood of Jesus, God, over our households, over our lives, over our families, God. God, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we tarry right now, God. We bow down, God, in your presence, God. We are here, God, because you are here and your presence is here. So thank you, God, for allowing us to share the same space and time with you, God. And since you are here, God, we're just going to bow down and yell, holy, holy, and holy, God. Can you get the glory, God? Thank you, God. God, I bless your holy name, God. I praise your holy name, God. Now, God, I pray, God, that your word goes forth, God. I pray right now that more lives are turned uh, to your way, God. I pray right now, God, that those are return or leave, God, from the darkness and enter into the marvelous light, God, that we change the mentality of the church, God, where it's no more fluff, where it's no more how many members you have and how many services you got. But the real question, God, put it in the hearts of us, God, how many are being saved and how many are being discipled, God? How many are growing in their sanctification? How many are becoming more like you, God? We thank you, God, for blessing us, God, during this season. We thank you for keeping your hand of protection upon us. We give you glory. We love you. We magnify you, God. You are an awesome God. You are mighty God. And we can't do nothing, God, because when we look in the rearview mirror of our lives, when we look in the rearview mirror of our lives, God, when we look in the rearview mirror of our lives, God, we are grateful that, that you didn't leave us where you found us, God. Because all of us, God, God, we've sinned and fallen short of your glory, but we thank you for, God, that you, that you picked us up, you cleaned us up, God, uh, that you turned us around, God, and you placed our feet. God, on, on higher ground. We, we bless your holy name. We, we love you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we give you glory and we give you honor, God. Now, God, do what you can do and only how you do it. And that's, again, just be God. God, you're omnipotent, God. You're all-powerful. You're omnipresent, God. You're everywhere at the same time. You're omniscient. You're all-knowing, God. You are our Jehovah Jireh, God. You are our provider, God. You are healing, God. God, you are our battle. You are everything we need. Everything we need, that you are, God. So we call you right now, God. We call you right now, God. We bless you right now. We love you right now. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. God, I pray for every church represented on this call. And thank God for the time, God, that you've allotted me to share through prayer, God. I pray right now, God, that my faith connects with Pastor Carl and every other pastor and prayer warrior who's going to come. And God, we watch mountains move, God, because you said that we don't have to have a lot of faith, just faith the size of a mustard seed. God, we can speak to a mountain and command it to be, be moved, God. 
And God, we, we thank you for that type of power. God, we thank you for that mountain moving prayers, God. God, we I pray for the person right now, God, who has really been going through right, right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, remind them that you are God of, an, of a second chance. And that's why I love you, God. You are, you are God of another chance and another chance and another chance. So God, do again, bless right now, God. Do what you do. In the name of Jesus, we, we pray this prayer. Listen, um, uh, again, I'm grateful uh, for the awesome opportunity, hallelujah, uh, to come before you uh, and pray. I apologize again for whatever technical difficulties it was, but uh, we, we already bind the, the hand of the enemy. Uh, and and uh, I, I, again, I want to thank you, Pastor Carla, for even extending the awesome opportunity. Uh, and and I, I want to just speak just for the last few minutes um, um, uh, for my time uh, to really just speak into the hearts of those uh, particularly that's near and dear in my heart uh, as a pastor, as a prayer warrior, as a man of faith, uh, but dealing with uh, this whole uh, this senseless, not violence, but murder uh, this, that we're constantly seeing happen uh, with the African-American race and uh, the inequality and in, in, in the injustice. Um, and, and so I just want um, every prayer warrior to be in prayer. And Pastor Carla, your men are more than welcome and whoever else is more than welcome. Um, we're, not being, we're not being silent. Uh, we, we are actually meeting tomorrow, uh, all of the men via Zoom. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna gather, we're putting a plan together of strategies of um, not just talk, of course we, we, we're praying, of course we're gonna be fasting, but we're gonna be putting strategies together, three, three, threefold strategies of how do we approach judges and Congress uh, to express properly our disdain and frustration? How do we, uh, and another thing, you know, how we, do we train and, and educate and bring awareness to our sons and young men so that you can increase your chances of making it home, uh, being stopped uh, in the park to, to even record. And we even see that that doesn't even help. And so I want you guys to stand in agreement as my heart hurts, um, you know, as being a black man, just, it, you know, it's, it's, it's the fear that, that that's creeping into us because of us not knowing what we can do. And if we do do what we want to do in the flesh, the possibility of what will happen to us. So not afraid because we're afraid of anybody, but afraid of the reality that, that, that that's supposed to protect us, uh, to be a staple in the community, to, to protect us. We, we can't rely on it. And so, uh, and so I, just, I want to put that out again. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this, uh, thinking of the Word of God, Christian Fellowship Church. And I pray as we touch and agree uh, that God moves mountains, uh, that what was once a no by faith, God is going to make it a yes uh, in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I feel like shouting, I'm, I'm done. Uh, it's back into your hands. Thank you, yeah. God. Thank you so much, Pastor. And we're going to mm -hmm. touch and agree with you as a mother of three sons. Yeah. I, and really relate to the concern. I can really relate to the fear, um, but I also have the faith, <laughs> the faith to believe that God Hallelujah. sees us yes. right where we are. Yes, and he this is. is why we pray. Amen. His ears are attentive to the cries of his children. I believe that. Yes, I sir. Believe that. And I believe so, thank you so much tonight, sir, for what you have shared and the prayer that has gone forth. We thank you. We bless you Hallelujah. in the name bless of you. Jesus. We honor you tonight, sir. Keep us in Thank your you prayer. So much. Continue to do the work of the Lord. 12 hours, sir. Amen. God bless you tonight. We, 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 let's go. We, we. Awesome. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we thank God for Pastor Hoskin and for what he has spoken into the spirit realm and how he has prayed. And we stand in agreement with him for our sons, for our fathers, for our uncles, for our brothers. Uh, we know that that systemic racism is real. Uh, it's something that uh, we have always dealt with in this country, but we believe God that he is still in control and he is still over uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. And so we're going to trust and believe him and we're going to continue in our prayer. This is why we pray. This is why God has called this 12 hour virtual prayer, because together we will make a difference. The church cannot be silent when the world is speaking so loudly. We cannot be a whisper. We have to cry loud and spare not. That is our responsibility as the body of Christ. And so we are trusting and believing God tonight that even this racism, even this protesting, that God is going to, God is going to produce answers. God is going to give us wisdom and give us solution. We are strategy. We don't just want God to give us strategy. Some of us have to arise because we are the strategy. We are the solution. Manifestation of the sons of God. We must come forth. So we're going to continue to move in our prayer tonight. Um, our next prayer general is waiting. And so we again, thank you for joining in. Please remember to share the broadcast. Please remember that even as we're praying, as the prayer generals are praying, get in your prayer position as well and pray along with us because we need your support. We need you to intercede. We need you to stay on the wall. Hallelujah. Uh, all of the other intercessors that are out there, please touch and agree with us. We are making a difference. And throughout this whole broadcast, you're going to hear me say, we believe God over everything. God over everything. God over this pandemic. God over crisis and calamity. God over racism. God over injustice. We believe God over everything. So we're going to continue to pray and we're going to um, invite our next prayer general, prayer general in, um, Lady Erica Michelle Bailey. So grateful for this woman of God. You know, sometimes when you've been through something, eh, you know how to pray because you've had to pray. And you have seen God and watched God work miraculously in your life. So I appreciate this woman of God and this prayer warrior and what she is doing in the kingdom of God. And as she prays, I want you to join with her as we go before the Lord. And however the Lord leads, her. That's how we want her to pray. Hallelujah. And we trust and agree that God will not only hear, but that God will answer. So we're going to bring her on. Lady Erica Michelle, and she is connecting now. And she is going to lead us to the throne of grace. Yes. She's going to offer up sacrifices from the threshing floor. So we okay. believe, we believe. Lady Erica, yes. thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Woo! And we are mm -hmm. so grateful that we get to touch and agree with you. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to turn the call over into your hands and you take us into that throne room. God yes. bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good night. And thank you so much for this opportunity, Pastor Carla. And I want to um, first just say that um, I'm thankful for Saturation Ministries Global and Pastor Carla Randall and all of those who are um, called to to that ministry because I'm a firm believer that it, you have to know that you're called to the to the to the place and 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 if you if you're not called to the place eventually you will be an outcast meaning you won't fit into where it is you are making an attempt to enter and so I thank you for those who are called 
to your ministry. And, and here's the thing, I keep saying ministry because I know that it is a church. I know that you have a church that you go to, but your church we found in this pandemic is, is, is in us, right? And so the church house is the building. And so I am saying call to your ministry because I know that God has called me to your ministry. And what I mean by that is I serve your ministry and answer the call when God says you need to answer the call. And so I say thank you, Pastor Carla Randall, and the entire staff and the leaders, the pastors, associate pastors, ministers, deacons, all of those in their respective places, I say thank you. And so what I desire to do at this time is I have to give you a word first, and then I shall be led by God into prayer. And don't get distracted by distractions. So if something happens and, you know, we know that the virtual world sometimes takes the mind of its own, just keep on praying, keep on interceding, keep on trusting that everything will be in alignment. And so I want to share with you this word because God gave me a message and the message is going to lead us into prayer. And so he said to me, Erica, he said, we can no longer be the world's substitute. We as the body of Christ can no longer be a substitute to the world. And I said, well, God, what do you mean by being a substitute to the world. And so then he gave me scripture. And so I will read to you what exactly I believe why God gave me the message. We as the body of Christ can no longer be a substitute to the world. And we know that substitute usually is in in school, I'll use that to relate because we've all been in a school atmosphere, that when the, the, the teacher, the real deal, the, the one who is there every day to see after our children or to teach us as adults, um, sometimes have to take time out or off. And so they call in the substitute. And so what God was telling me was, is that it has gotten in the world that church or the body of Christ or the Christian um, is often called on as a substitute. And so what happens is, is that as we're living life, you know, when, when things are going good and, and, and there is no chaos that's in your world and, and, and the money is coming in and, and the job is good and the husband and the children are great, we don't need God in his entirety. We will only need him in the areas that we cannot fulfill or make happen. And so what it has become is, is that the, the world has, including some of the body of Christ, let's just be real, we utilize God as a substitute. And so I'm going to read to you from Matthew 5, 13, 16. Again, I'm going to give you this and then I'm going to go into prayer. But I want to lay down um, a foundation, a foundational scripture, so that when we're done, you can go back and allow Holy Spirit to speak to you, and that you can continue the prayer race. We pass the baton, but even if you're not on the screen, you are called to pray. And so Matthew 5, 13, 16, and the trans, I'm, I'm reading the Passion Translation, it says, uh, first of all, this was Jesus talking to the disciples. This this, this right here was Jesus talking to the disciples. And so he says, your, um, your lives are like salt among the people. If you, like salt, become bland, how can your saltiness be restored? Favorless salt is good for nothing and will be thrown out and trampled on by others. Your lives light up the world. Let others see your light from a distance. From a distance, from a distance, for how can you hide a city that stands on a hilltop and who would light a lamp and then hide it in an obscure place? 
Instead, it's placed where everyone in the house, everyone in the house can benefit from its light. So don't hide your light. Let it shine brightly before others so that the commendable things you do will shine as light upon them. We're talking about the world. We're talking about those who do not have, have, have not received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, who does not believe there is a true and living God. He says, and then they will give pra their praise to Father in heaven. I'm going to say that part one more time. And then they will give their praise to Father in heaven, not their praise to Erica Michelle, not their praise to Pastor Carla, not their praise to the church, not their praise to the pastor, but it said their praise will then be sent or given up to the Father in heaven. And then I want to I, I want to share this one last one. And so Genesis 1, and it's tied together, it, um, Genesis 1 and 3, it says, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, pleasing and useful, and he affirmed and sustained it, and God separated the light. He distinguished the light from the darkness. And again, my um, foundational scripture talked about your lives are like salt. And so God said that, um, Erica, the body of Christ can no longer be the world's substitute. And so I said, well, God, what, what do you mean? He said, because if salt loses its flavor, if salt loses its flavor, is it still considered salt? That's the question. And so God said, so, so what happens is for those who are in the health industry, usually they will tell you, or even in doctors and, 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 and those people that's in the medical field will tell you that, you know, high blood pressure, you need to not take in or consume a certain amount of salt. So, so you immediately begin to look for substitutes like Mrs. Dash. You know, things like that, 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 that is not heavenly salted, but the word of God used the salt as, as, as a representation of our, our walk with him, with him. And, and that, that when we are full of God's light, right, then, then, then when we walk into a place or when we are, 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 are assigned to a place that, that from afar off, from distance, they will be able to know who you are. And so I pose a question to the body of Christ today. Have you been a substitute of salt? Have you, have you allowed your saltiness to, to, to your salt to be to turn into saltiness? Like has the flavor of your walk, has, has it been diluted with some other things? Have, have you become um, where you, you call on God when, you know, only the times of life are rough. And so God has said today that my prayer for you is that your flavor returns. Because, because see, this is the thing, the body of Christ, we need you. And so, and so we need you, but the world needs you more. The world needs us right now. The world needs our light. And although we may not be in all of different places of where, 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 it's, where the things are going on and the riots are going on and, 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 and the anger of, and the, you know, and the, 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 the voices of, listen, there, this is the time, you know, we need to come together. And so you may not be able to be in all of those places, but, but the word of God said that your light would be from distance. And so maybe it's a virtual platform such as this. Maybe it's a call, a conference call. Maybe as the, the pastor that came before, it, it's a couple of, of you guys getting together, but, but it's time for you to regain your, your flavor. And so I just wanted to share that because in, in one of the, um, I was doing study time and a statement from my study said, the salt and the salt was in parentheses of wisdom will make our light shine even brighter and in this time where we're in we 
have to be sure that we use wisdom, that we're using the wisdom that comes from God, that the Bible often um, calls it she. It often relates wisdom to, a, a, as a female, a she. And so I, I, I want to pray for first the body of Christ, and then I extend prayer out to the world because if our light has been dim, we have to ask God for repentance. If our light has been turned off because we haven't paid the electric bill, meaning spiritually we haven't checked in with God. We, we don't have a deposit on the account, but we need them right now. And so God is so good that we can come to God in prayer and we can say, Lord, Father, as we come to you today in prayer, we ask that you first forgive us for our sins, our sins of commission and omission, our sins, God, sometimes that we do knowingly and unknowingly, God. God, we ask that if we've been the one that have allowed our salt to become saltless, we ask that you, Father God, forgive us today, God. And we give you permission, Father God, to add it back to our lives. And so meaning we want you back as priority of our lives, God. And so I thank you right now, God, that in the beginning you spoke about light and darkness and you understood that darkness would always be a part of the world. But when light comes on the scene, you said in your word that it was distinguished. It was set apart. It was as if it, you know, resided outside of what was there prior, which was dark to the deep. And so God, I thank you that I and the body of Christ, that we are the light. And in spite of what is going on right now, God, the light is still blue. The light is still, is still illuminating in the world. And so what we need to do so that the darkness can begin to descend, even in the dark days, that we as the body of Christ, we need to come together and hold hands, virtually hold hands, spiritually hold hands in the natural and begin to ask God to be the center of our lives. And so if I am the light, but my brother light has been dim, do I give him some of my light? And so encouraging my brothers and sisters today that your light is needed in this time. And not just for this time, it is far to the duration of the end of the world. We need your light. And we call right now your light back to the living world. And so meaning let God come back into your world. And so God, we thank you for your word. And thank you, Jesus, for teaching us, Father God, that, 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 that our lives have, has, has the, um, ha you have given us the permission to let our lives light up the world. And so we thank you, God, that we are light. And so we thank you that in spite of what's going on, God, our light is illuminating everywhere we go. So we know that light, right, requires a connection to something. And so I am connected to God. And so I am the light. I am the representation of him, but in a living form. And so God, we thank you right now, God, that our light is, God, it's starting to be brighter all over the world as we watch the news we see god the risen light as we begin to speak to other people and and we begin to read articles we see the light is starting to shine bright again but here's what i i i leave a, a command to the body of christ don't let your light go dim once we have gotten or received the justice that God is going to send in the earth. Because today God spoke to me, he said, Erica, justice shall be done. Now, here's the thing about justice. We don't always have control of the outcome, but boy, 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 do I know a God who does. And so God, we thank you right now that the outcome of this justice that's gonna take place in the world, God, that it is going to favor, it's going to favor good, God. And good is a representation from you. We know bad comes from the enemy and good is of God because everything you spoke to in the beginning, you said it is good. And so God, we thank you, God. We thank you that it shall be good. And in spite of 
the life that was lost. And I take nothing from that because I don't know what it would feel like to be at the mercy of, 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 of life and death. And so God, today I pray for the family, God, that had to receive that call. But I also pray, God, that those that know the family personally, that is a part of the body of Christ, will be the light and they will speak life into them and they will encourage them and they will they will share the word of God with them and they will be able to intercede for them when the mother of that I mean when the the family of that the, the of God's son uh, uh has to need is in need of support or in need of encouragement that that they will be the light God and they will share with them how even his debt will be, Father God, a, 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 a lifeline to so many others, God. Um, it will be a lifeline. And it's sad that this had to happen, that a tragedy had to happen for the light to begin to illuminate again. And, and, and we know the illumination just didn't come from that because prior to that was the pandemic, was the COVID-19. So the light was beginning. You were already getting us ready in the world. You was already, you were already charging our batteries. And so God, we thank you for this prayer today. We thank you for the leaders that are speaking out. God, we thank you for the, uh, the ministries, Father God, that are connecting. God, we thank you for those, God, who are on the front line, God. God, we pray for the protection of those that are going out to the riots so that their voice will be heard and not just heard, but that change would take place and that lives will be changed, God, and that your manifestation will begin to, 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 to move in the earth, Father God. And Lord, we thank you for our sons, God. God, as I shared a post on the other day, God, I am a black mother, God. I am married to a black man, God. I have black brothers, God. I have a black father, God. And so my prayer every day, God, is that you don't allow them to become a statistic, God, even in walking in who they are, God, because they all have different characters and backgrounds. God, that you don't let them be judged. But I extend my prayer to other mothers that have sons and other mothers who have husbands and other mothers who has a brothers, God, that are black. And because of their color, their race, God, they're already, they already have strikes against them. But God, you are God that don't look at color. You say when man looks at the out, that you look at the heart. And so God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you that you will continue to wrap your arms around your sons, God. And God, you will begin to, God, use them, God, as the poster child of God to let the world know I created him just as I created my white sisters and my white brothers and my Hispanic sisters and my Hispanic brothers and all the other nationalities. We were all handmade and knitted by God. And so how dare the enemy think that he can come in the earth and begin to separate us because that is not of God. And so, God, we thank you that we are the light. We are the light that, that will illuminate the world. And the, black, the black race, the white race, the Hispanic race, God, all those that you have created, we were all created by you. And so we thank you for this time, God. We thank you, Father God, for the generals that are going to come through this 12 hour of prayer. God, I pray right now, God, that they will, they, they will continue to hear your word and we will only speak and say what you say to speak and pray. We will only, Father God, pro provide information based on what you have given us to share, God. God, I pray that we continue to de decrease, that you may increase in each general that will come and share tonight, God. Lord God, I pray against anything that would try to distract or destroy what is happening for these next 12 hours, God. And so, God, we thank you, God, that your word, Father God, will go forth, God, like living water, God. But as it's going forth, I ask that.
that it transforms and, and it becomes the weapon, the, it becomes a weapon and it begins to destroy the things that the enemy has set in place in on this earth, God. God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you for your anointing, God that destroyed the yokes. I thank you for your word that rightly divides the word of truth, God, the word that will rightly divide, God. God, I thank you right now, God, that this prayer will, will, will call some of us into repentance. It will call some of us back to say, Lord, what must I do, Father God, to be saved? God, we thank you salvation will take place through this prayer line, God, this, this 12, the, the next 12 hours, God, that, 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 that nothing that will be done in this time frame will be done in vain. And that, that this is not done in a mist. This is not done so that we can add a check or in the box to say, this is my con contribution. No, this is done, God, so that we can be the light. This is done so that we can be a mouthpiece for you, this is done so that you, God, and the word said that you, that the believers, we began to reverence and seek you. And so we thank you right now, God. Continue to order our steps, even as these days may be prolonged, because we know justice doesn't happen overnight, right? And so, God, we thank you that you, the, the feet, the footsteps of, of the man be, will be ordered by the Lord. And that God, as, as the previous pastor said, that you know we won't do things in our own will because we understand that for every action, for every reaction, there's an action. And so we will do it in a stance that will be pleasing to you, God. It will be pleasing to you. We will have peaceful, Father God, stand-in, shut-ins, whatever you may want to do. And we will keep you at the forefront. We will give you the honor. We will give you the praise in the spite, in spite of, because we understand a life was taken, but we also understand that there was a life that was given. And so Jesus also lost his life so that we could have life. And so we thank you, God, like, like the representation of losing life Jesus was the example of that. And so we thank you, God, for that. And we thank you, Father God, that you will strengthen us in these days, God. You will continue to raise up generals, God, that will not be afraid to call on your name, God. They will not be afraid to say that I serve a true and living God. And God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you that out of the mouth of babes, God, the mouth of babe will begin to speak into the earth and the earth will hear the words. And so no matter where you are in your walk with God, you may be a babe of Christ. Your word is still important into the earth. And so it's very imperative that in this time, we are very mindful of the things that we speak. And so maybe sometimes we're thinking in our mind, I'm angry. But, but we have to be mindful of our prayers because we know what anger will take us to. And actually in the word of God, it says that anger lies on the lap of a fool. And so God, in this time, help me not to get angry. Help me not to want to, 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 to go out and do something that would, would be not so pleasing to you, God. God, because I too know I don't want to ever get the call, God. And so I need you to teach us, God, how to battle this war, God. I need you, God, to teach us how to move through this time that we're in. And so God, we thank you that we will no longer be the substitute in the earth, that they will want to know about who you are before, uh, before major events like, like what's going on right now happens, before disaster comes, before chaos comes, before, before we have you know, things such as COVID-19. 
No, we're going to call on you, God, in the good and the bad. We're going to call on you in the ups and downs. We're going to call on you with the job or no job. We're going to call on you if it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. God, we're going to call on you no matter when because you are a good God and you were a good God in January of 2020 when we were declaring what this year was going to be like. You were a good God in February, God. When we were declaring what you were going to do for us in the earth, you we you were a good God in the month of March, God, even when we started to feel the pressure of the COVID-19. You are a good God in the month of April, even when we had to cancel all of our lovely plans, God, you are still a good God. And God, you are a good God in the month of May, when many are still wondering what is going to happen with my job what is going to happen with my health what is going to happen with my finances what's going to happen with the church what's going to happen in the world you're still a good god and so god we 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 surrender we say thank you god we honor you most of a god most of all god we will represent you we will we make a declaration today that my light will no longer go dim and if that requires you to have to set to the side and change out your light bulb and reconnect to God, do whatever you need to do. But we can no longer show up in the world with dim lights. We can no longer show up in the world expecting our sisters and brothers to share their light so that my light doesn't look as dim. We all can get the same watts, W-A-T-T-S, from God. Because once we connect with God, our lights will illuminate across the earth. And so Father God, as we close this prayer, but not leave your presence, we say, holy, holy, holy. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that the light was in the beginning and the light will be to the end. And even for us, the body of Christ, who, who some have strayed away from the light, God, I thank you that through this time, maybe this message they, they stumbled, stumbled upon, or maybe someone shared it, and we know nothing just happens, a half a stand. Everything happens has a purpose to why it happened. And so we thank you that they can, uh, they can regenerate, God, the light, God. They may need a backup right now, but God, you will be that until they actually, the electricity turns back on again. And so we thank you that we're the light and we will continue to go out into the world. We're not going to stay in our homes and be the light. We're not going to just stay in our little circles and be the light. We're not just going into the church uh, houses and be the light. No, God, we're going out onto the highways and byways where Jesus said, compel the people to come. Our light is going to draw them just like light draws the bugs from, you know, when you're outside and you're like, I don't like the bugs. We, we, we thank you that our lights will draw men, but it, they will be drawn not unto us but unto you. And so for this, God, I pray. And I say, thank you for using me to be a vessel on this platform, God, and that your word will be the word that will be remembered on this day. In your son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Can we just give God a great praise? Lady Erica, thank you so much for the word and for the inspiration and for the prayer. Eh. And we pray God's continued blessings upon you in the work of your hands. He has called you to the kingdom for such a time as this. And we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, Pastor Carla. And I'm in, I'll be here sharing and loving and hearts. God yes. bless you. I appreciate you. 12 hours, come on, stay 12 with me. 12 hours, 12 <laughs> hours. Can you, can you stay with me? Can you? Can you, can you pray for me for a few hours? Hang on. We yeah. there. Blessings. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. Blessings. Bye-bye.